Today, I'm gonna to take a look at the Bessie strap clamp. A strap clamp, as the name suggests, is a clamp and a strap, and that strap uh, wraps around your project and you cinch the whole thing up at once. A lot of times used uh, for picture frames, wrapping around the whole frame to cinch it up, but it can be used in other situations as well. Now the Bessie strap clamp, as you would imagine from Bessie, includes some awesome innovative features and is just a really great clamp all the way around. Let's go ahead and open this product up and check it out. Inside the package is the strap clamp itself. Uh, nice handle, clamp, and the strap wound up here. There are four clamping heads that are included, uh, and you can purchase extra ones. These um, have swivel heads that rotate anywhere from 60 to 180 degrees. So that's uh, pretty cool, and there are four of those uh, included. And a little handle that uh, there are no instructions, but I think we'll just attach that right here to the plant. I quickly just cut up uh, four mitered pieces to make a frame. And as you saw, I installed the handle on this clamp and I had the four corner pieces and threw it around this frame. And it went so quickly, I wanted to show you again how I did this. Straight out of the box, four pieces, put on the handle. And go ahead and pull out the strap here. And it just pulls out and you can make it as long as you need. There's 23 feet of strap here. So I just kind of pulled it out until I got it basically around the frame. And I'm going to put the clamp here at the bottom of the frame right in front of me. Then these corner pieces just go right onto the strap easily. So you just slap them on the strap. And once you've got them hooked in, uh, they can easily slide along the strap to where you need them. And remember those clamp heads swivel. Um, so you can get them just where you need anywhere from 60 to 180 degrees. So that one's somewhere up there. Let's get on the third one. Right on here. And the fourth one right down here. All right, now I get my pieces somewhat together and I'll go ahead and just start winding the clamp here. Let me show you the bottom here. So just winding the handle here to cinch up the strap to get it pretty, pretty close to tight. There we go, checking my clamp heads. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pieces, you know, pretty much aligned where they're gonna go. Clamp heads there. And then what you do to tighten it is you simply just turn the handle here to tighten the strap. And that is great. Starts pulling it in really tight. Oops, I forgot one of my clamp heads right here. It's misaligned, untighten it. There we go, line it up. All right, and I'll start cinching it up a little bit. And of course I would have glue, you know, have glue on these corners. And you do this, this is just to, you know, be a dry run getting it all in place, but I wanted to show you from start to finish, out of the box, tightening up a picture frame here. And there we go, each of these corners, nice and tight, strap clamp all the way around. Now, of course, I can just, you know, if I want to actually glue this together, I can just loosen this up. All my clamp pieces are in place, put a little glue on there, and then just cinch it back up, and that'll go really quickly. The clamp heads easily slide along the strap, maybe after you've done your dry fit, slid a little bit out of the way. Super easy to just move it right into place along that strap. After you've wound the strap clamp close using the handle, of course it tightens here with this handle. You just start cranking it and it pulls this back, which tightens the strap. Now what's awesome about it is it tightens from both sides at the same time, keeping even clamping pressure. You're not just gonna be pulling from one side and have to wrap all the way around your project. It's gonna pull from both sides. So watch, as I start tightening this, you can see the strap being pulled in from both sides, tightening from both ends at the same time, keeping nice, even clamping pressure. There's the Bessie strap clamp on a simple four-sided picture frame. 
but don't limit yourself just to four sides. With a couple of the extra swivel, swivel pads, which are sold separately, you can do multiple sided, uh, five, six, seven, eight sides, uh, whatever you want. And you can do that all at the same time with a single strap clamp. Now here I've got a curved form and this I used for a bow front table. And I loaded this up with a ton of clamps to laminate um, you know, multiple pieces across this curved form and glue them together. What about using a single uh, Bessie clamp or maybe a couple of them depending on how wide uh, I needed to make this. So I got this curved form and I'll lay it down here and I've got just a couple of uh, sample strips. These are about one inch, three quarters of an inch high, about an uh, eighth of an inch thick so they bend easily and if I want to glue them up and clamp them to this curved form, I can just use a single strap clamp. And now again, if I had these uh, taller, you know, my the bow front table is maybe three or four inches high here, I could use a couple of strap clamps. Um, again, I just got the strap clamp to about the right length using the handle. I'll just slip it over my form and then over the pieces here. I'll use the, the handle, sorry, use the um, big handle just to cinch it up a little bit. Get it around my pieces. And now I'll go ahead and start cranking it down and I'll pull those multiple laminates straight to my curved form. And there we go, with a single strap clamp, I can crank that down and get a, using a curved form and one strap clamp instead of loading this up with a ton of parallel clamps. Now again, this is only three quarter an inch high, so a single strap clamp can get good clamping pressure all the way across that. If I had a taller piece, uh, maybe I can use a couple of strap clamps and get nice continuous pressure all the way across. And when you're all done using the strap clamp, it is easy to store, simply crank the handle to wind it up. Keep things in line. I'll keep the uh, little swivel pads right on there. Just wind it up. Move the swivel pads around. You can pop them off, um, you know, or just leave them on there for storage. Oops, got a little bit tangled up there. Pop it back on. There we go. So those are close to each other, finish winding it up, and there it is, really easy to store. Those are just a couple of applications where the Bessie strap clamp can really come in handy. Uh, you saw how quickly I got it up and running in the shop, straight from the packaging, within two minutes I was clamping up that four-sided frame. Uh, it is a Bessie clamp, so I expected great quality and wasn't disappointed. Both handles have very smooth action uh, for tight winding the strap and for tightening the strap. The pivot heads are also really cool. Uh, they work great. Uh, sometimes they can get a little bit out of alignment when you're tightening, but you can quickly just pop them in right where you need them and then tighten it down. Now I know when I'm putting together projects, I'm always looking for ways to get that clamping pressure exactly where I need. Whether it's a multi-sided item, multiple uh, glue up, whether it's a curved piece, you're always looking to get that pressure exactly where I need it to get a good strong joint. Now the Bessie strap clamp can really come in handy in a variety of situations. Because it is a continuous strap applying pressure, you can use it in multiple scenarios to help you get that pressure right where you need it.